video, I'm going to walk you through what a domain is. Five simple steps that I use and that I encourage my clients to use in order to come up with the perfect website domain, no matter what your business is. I remember when I was building my first website, I didn't know what a domain was, how it was somehow linked to my website, let alone how to pick the perfect website domain for my business. I want to help you come up with the right domain from the start and stop you having to make any awkward U-turns down the line because you've created a domain that's hard to spell, easily mistyped and just plain hard to remember. So to start with, what is a domain? Your domain is the little bit of text you put into the URL bar at the top of your website browser. You can think of it as the name for your website. Usually it's preceded with the www dot and then your URL or your website domain. You might think that coming up with a website domain is easy, but what you'll find is a lot of website domains are actually already taken up already. So you have to find one that already suits your business but is also available to purchase. And that's what we're going to discuss in the next five points. So point number one, you need to keep it simple, short, and somewhat memorable. So short, we're looking to ideally keep it under 14 characters, but we'll discuss reasons why you might want to go over that. Simple, we want to keep it to only letters. We don't want numbers. We don't want uh, different icons or anything but letters. That's basically because it's hard to spell. If you put a number into your URL, does the website visitor type in the number that's spelled out directly or do they put the number, say number two, or do they spell it T-W-O? Just makes for a lot of confusion. And we want to keep things simple. Memorable, we're going to talk about that. Just keep that in mind. We want to keep it memorable. We want to keep it brandable. If you create a URL that's hard to type or easy to mistype, then people aren't going to find your website. Let's move on to step two, so. And step two is about trying to combine a keyword possibly into your domain, but also a brandable um, business name. So let's just take a reflexologist as an example. So let's say um, our reflexologist name is Karen Scott. Now Karen Scott is a reflexologist. So we, the brandable name, business name is her name. A keyword is going to be reflexologist. And if she, with reflexology, it's really you have to be with the person physically. So another keyword would be her location. So reflexology and her location are keywords. So if we can fit these into the URL or the website domain, then that would be of an advantage. So let's have a few examples. We could have karenscott.com. We can have Karen Scott reflexologist, or we could have just go with the keywords and have reflexology Kent. So we have a lot of different options here, but ideally you want to try and get the brand name or the business name somehow combined with a keyword that will help you, your website be found when people are searching for the service that you offer. Also think about if you offer a service or a product that isn't location dependent, what other keywords might people use in order to find your products? So let's say you sell children's toys. You might want to include the word toys in the domain. In some cases, you might run into the domain getting a little bit longer. But if, if it means that you can include the business name and a keyword, then so be it. We won't be overly stuck on this idea that it has to be under 14 characters. Yes, we want it to be as short and simple as possible. However, we have to take into everything into consideration. So step three then, let's say we have our, the basis for our domain. Step three is about choosing the extension. The most common extension is .com. This is the most well-known and most people, when they're searching for a website, will automatically put in .com. The only thing with this is the domain that you would like to purchase may well have been already owned by someone else and not available for purchase. This is the case where you might want to go back to the last step if you really are set on the domain that you've picked and the .com extension is not available, you could look at country specific extensions. So in Ireland, our country specific extension is .ie. In the UK, it's .co.uk. In Australia, it's .co.au. Uh, so you could also look at that option in order to get a domain that is perfect for you and also perfect for your individual location and country. If you don't like the idea of that, there are other extensions. There are lots of slightly alternative ones. You can have .co, you can have .net, you can have .org. I would think carefully before going down the road of using any of these slightly more alternative extensions only because they're lesser known, they're lesser trusted by website visitors. So in the ideal world, stick with .com. And if you're really struggling, something like a .net is another option or possibly a .co, that's another one as well. Step four so. Right, so we have our domain, we have our extension picked. 
Now we have to find out, is it available? So the domain provider that I use is called SiteGround. SiteGround are a hosting provider and you can purchase your domain and purchase your hosting all through the one company. So what you need to go to is the SiteGround website and check if the domain that you have picked is actually available for purchase. And you'll be able to find the site in a few seconds. If it's not available to purchase, then you have to go back through the steps to find an alternative domain. When you're ready, you find your domain, you pick your extension, then it's time to move on to step five. We want to buy our domain. Domains typically aren't expensive to buy. And a lot of hosting, some hosting providers will actually provide a free domain for your first year. Congratulations, you know I own your very first website domain. This is a big step towards building your own website or getting a website designer to design that for you.